Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can submit the lab report through Blackboard. But before that, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification icon so that you will be notified for more videos in the future. Let's begin. I've already logged into Blackboard and you will see first of course is the announcement. Here we have the schedule of our experiments. What you will do is go to the left side of your Blackboard right over here where you have this arrow. You see this arrow on the left side near the announcement. Click this arrow and go to the assessments. In the assessments you will find the data sheet number one if you are doing the velocity experiment or you will find data sheet number three if you are doing equilibrium experiment. In this example I'm showing you the velocity experiment but the idea to submit is the same for all experiments. The first thing that you must do and it's required is you enter your name. So I will enter my name and then your ID number Make sure that it's correct so that your report will not be lost. And finally, your section number and then click next. After that, you have to select the date of your experiment. When did you do the experiment? Let's say Monday, for example. And the time at 10 in the morning. I forgot there. Okay, next. And here's the easy part. You see, you have to write the objective of the experiment here. If there's one, two, or three, it depends. In this case, I have an example of a lab report from last semester, okay, where we have four objectives. But in this semester, we didn't do the frictional forces. So you will just type or write the two objectives. The first one to perform linear motion and measure measure what the change in position with time right or measure simply velocity of a moving object objective number two to study the motion under constant acceleration or you can simply say to study acceleration or to study constant acceleration if you are using the lab manual from the PDF, you can also copy and paste. Let's go to the next slide or next page. In the next page, you have to choose the materials or equipment that you used to conduct the experiment. Let's say, for example, in acceleration, what are the materials that you used for acceleration? Again, in the uh, lab manual you will find the apparatus is already there so you just need to select did you use the launcher with acceleration did you use the motion sensor if yes click it did you use the force sensor if no leave it blank did you use the interface did you use the dynamic card what about in velocity so that's what you are going to do Make sure that you check all that applies and you leave the ones that do not apply. Once you have made the selection, click next. Okay, we go now into the theory. Which formula or rule is needed to calculate the average velocity? Is it delta t over delta x? If that's your answer, click. If it's not, you can choose another, maybe delta x over delta t. If not, maybe it's delta a over delta t. Make sure that you select the correct answer and you can base it on the lab manual. Make sure that you scroll up to the bottom of the page because it is possible that there are more options below. Okay. So here, let's say I will take delta x over delta t next. Go back to the top and again continue. Observation, position versus time. 
In the lab manual and in the data sheet, this is the observation at the bottom of the page. You made three runs for velocity. So here you will find position versus time. That's position versus time. Run number one, displacement. Run number one, displacement. In your data sheet, you will get the answer or the measurement and you enter it here. This example, 0 0.590. And then time of travel, run one, 0 0.89, as you can see on the right side of the screen. So 0 0.89. And then average velocity, you have to calculate it according to the rule, that delta x over delta t, 0 0.663, 0 0.663. Next, average velocity from the slope, that's from the graph, 0 0.671. And finally, percentage error using the rule V minus V prime. So this is V, and this is V prime, divide by V again. So this minus this, divide by this, and then multiply by 100%. The percentage error should be small, okay? Once you've finished, run one then you go to run number two and repeat displacement time of travel average velocity slope percentage error complete the table until you finish run three and then click next you also go to the next page of your lab report let me go to the next page there. So in the next page of the lab report, we have observation number two, which is velocity versus time. Table two, velocity versus time. Again, you will repeat the same measurements. First, what's the acceleration according to the slope of the graph? This is the slope at the top, 0 0.519. Next, what is delta V? V2 minus V1. This is delta V v2 minus v1 so you will just enter the answer 0 0.05 what is delta t t2 minus t1 this is delta t t2 minus t1 0 0.1 second you don't have to put or do not place the unit okay next from the values above what is acceleration 1. So using 0 0.05 and 0 0.1, calculate the average acceleration or the acceleration of the first reading. That's 0 0.50. Okay. Next, you go to, again, delta V, V4 minus V3. So this is V4 minus V3 and delta T, T4 minus T3. And you repeat until you complete V6, V3, and, uh, sorry, V5, T6 minus T5. From there, you will get three accelerations. Acceleration 1, acceleration 2, and acceleration 3. Find the average. How do you find the average? You take acceleration 1 plus acceleration 2 plus acceleration 3 and divide by 3. In this case, 0 0.5. From there, you have to compare the acceleration according to the slope. Where is the slope? From the top here versus the average. Where is the average? From the bottom here. And you will use percentage error. In this case, percentage error, you will find it on the next page. The friction table, forget about it. This is the percentage error calculation. So how do we calculate the percentage error? You will take the slope minus the average, divide by slope, multiply 100%. So let's go back to the table to show you which one. Slope minus average, divide by slope, multiply 100%. That's how you calculate the percentage error. Next, click next from here and go up go up okay source of error these are the sources of error 
Also, I discussed it in the video for velocity. Source of error number two. So you have three. In fact, you have more than three, but you need to submit only two. So you can write it here, for example. There is friction in the wheels of the car. And what's another source of error? You can say that the motion sensor is not 90 degrees with the track. What's the precaution? Precaution means how you can avoid or reduce the source of error. For example, there is friction. How do you reduce friction? Use lubrication. You put oil on the wheels, right? To reduce what? To reduce the friction. What else? Source of error number two. The motion sensor is not 90 degrees with the track. If that's the mistake, then check the motion sensor. So there you go. You have finished up to the source of error. Click next. Finally, you took a photo of your graph. So what you're going to do is to upload this photo in Google Drive, Dropbox, in Instagram, or any application to upload the photo. And then, here I uploaded the photo. Let me show you. This is the velocity experiment, okay? What you will do is, you will take the link of this photo. In this case, I'm doing it from Google Drive. Share. Now, in Google Drive, you have to make sure that anyone with the photo will be able to see it, okay? In this case, this is restricted, so I will make it instead anyone with the link. Copy the link, paste it here, and submit your photo. Oh, I, paste, I placed it in the, sorry, in the acceleration. So as you can see, if you make a mistake or you think you made a mistake, you can actually any, go back to your lab report and repeat or make the editing. So remember that graph 1 velocity will be here, graph 2 acceleration photo will be the one in the second and submit. So anytime you can edit your answer here. Okay, good luck.